I've done here is I dismantled the whole base the hydraulic. This is the base. This is what I did. Basically, just cleaned it and primed it, spray painted it, took it from rust. Did the same for the chair base and the chair bracket that holds the chair on it, the cushion. This here, clean this too. This here is the reclining mechanism. And this here, these are pieces that I got out from the cylinder from the pump. This is the hydraulic pump right here. This is the cylinder right here. I cleaned it out. You can see. Here's a trunk in there. Cleaned all the hydraulic fluid out of there. This here is what covers the hydraulic pump and the base. And this is the plate that it all connects to. And all of that stuff connects to. Now, when I first took this hydraulic pump out, you know, the hydraulic fluid, of course, was down in here. Now, this right here. Had a bunch of broke up pieces, rubber pieces that were so hard it felt like plastic. But this is what I got out of there. I got this plate that was at the very bottom of this right here, the cylinder. And these broke up pieces here. Now what I realized is that the brake, you know, because I had this out for a while now. I don't know where it went, but I'm not know. But I'm with the brake, it fits right here. Like so. Just like that. And this rubber piece here goes over this and connects to the brake. Just like that. I had to glue that so I ain't gonna move, I ain't gonna mess with it. And then here's another piece, just a piece that feels like plastic, but it should be a piece of rubber, but it feels like plastic now because it's so old. This piece here goes right here, all the way around, like such, just like that. Now what I'm going to have to do is find somebody to make that stuff from the bottom. These pieces down here, these rubber pieces, they fit right on this plate that was down in the cylinder. like this. So they all broke up. I just managed to fix them the best I could. Yeah, but there's a hole band right up under there. This piece here goes right on top. So something like that. Right there. And I'm guessing this little piece that was on top goes inside this little hole like that so that the rubber piece sits up there like that all the way around there's only three of them there's going to be one hole voided so but anyway that's what i got going on Before I took the chair apart, it was pumping up and down. The only thing that didn't work was the brake. I'll get back with you. As the progress continues.
all right i'm back like i said i had to find a place to make the rings for this right here and luckily here in nashville tennessee we had a place there's two places i went to one was uh nashville hydraulics that's where i went to go get these rings at right here so this small ring right here goes right here like i was showing you over the brake that's what holds the brake in right here this next ring i got right here it goes right here and basically you know this goes down into the cylinder right here now for that issue i had with these pieces right here what i did i figured you know me and the guy at the hydraulic um place i figured that we'll just go ahead and um use this and so we made this right here this rubber ring because basically these little rubber rings right here they represent as shock absorbers for the pump when it goes down so what i did instead of trying to find some place that makes these right here i went ahead and just had one big piece made that way you can put it over this like such that way when the pump goes down it lands on this right here represents as a shock absorber and it goes down to this you just drop it down in there so that's what i got Stay tuned for more work on the base.